hello and welcome back to my channel today I'm going to show you how to make a cabbage and mushroom casserole with a cheesy sauce and I'm going to cook the cabbage and mushroom first and then bake it in the oven with just it's just going to be a beautiful dish and as always I've written a full blog post which I'll leave down below which you can click through to pin bookmark and save for whenever you want to make this lovely recipe and make sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos and comment to let me know if you give this recipe a try so let's chat through the ingredients really quickly and then we'll get on and cook so I have got this cabbage I found it it's reduced from a euro to 50 cents for a whole cabbage I'm gonna probably use half of the cabbage and I've got these mushrooms I quite like these big portobello mushrooms but you can feel free to use any mushrooms you like or just make it cabbage only and just skip the mushrooms if you want so we've got those as our veggies and then I'm gonna make a nice sauce to bring the casserole together with egg feta and grated cheese so as I said we're going to start off by slicing up the cabbage and mushrooms and get those cooking so I have very roughly chopped up half of the cabbage it's pretty much filled up my frying pan and I've drizzled over olive oil I'm going to add a bit of salt you can add pepper any other seasoning to taste get this started reducing and then we'll chop up the mushrooms and add them too in a little bit cabbage has started softening nicely so I've added in chopped mushrooms I always add more mushrooms than I think I'll need because that they shrink down so I am going to cook this down until it's all reduced and next I'll show you how to make the cheesy sauce we're going to make and I'm not sure how well you can hear me with all the veggies cooking behind me but I'm just going to make my cheesy sauce by cracking open two eggs and we'll just give that a whisk and then we're going to add in half a cup of grated cheese, give that a mix in, and feta. What I've done is I've opened up the feta, I've halved it, and I've cubed up half of it. And I'm just going to add all of that in and give it a nice mix and squash through, get all of the feta nice and mixed through to make this really cheesy sauce that's just full of flavour. Adding feta in just does that. Yeah. That's perfect, a nice cheesy chunky sauce that's just going to bring everything together. Now I'm just going to check on the veggies, <laughs> they're coming along nicely, almost softened but steamy and next we'll move it all into the baking dish. Okay, so the veg are in my baking dish, I'm going to pour over the sauce and we'll mix it all through. You want to get that cheesy feta sauce distributed all over in every corner. Just fold it through, mix it over. All right, and when you're totally happy with it, then you can sprinkle over another half a cup of cheese. I'm just using the same mozzarella cheese, but you can feel free to use parmesan or pecorino, really. Any cheese you like. Just cover it in cheesiness and now it's going to go into the oven which is preheated to 180 degrees celsius which is 350 fahrenheit and it's going to go in for about 25 30 minutes until you've got a nice cheesy topping and everything is cooked through which i will show you next and it's out the oven look at all the beautiful layers the cabbage the mushroom the lovely cheesy sauce and look at that crispy cheesiness what a yum dish what delicious vegetarian meal which is gluten free it's low carb keto friendly and it's just it's just so good and that is the video for today thank you so much for watching make sure you leave a like subscribe for more videos and leave a comment too let me know if you give this cheesy cabbage casserole a try and what flavor adaptations you make and how you enjoy it and remember to check down below for the link to the blog post with the full step-by-step -step instructions on how to make this lovely recipe so thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye